This is Gambling and Esports by William Beloga, Stephen Wilhelm, and Brandon Sullivan for our current issues in esports class. To begin, we will look at the history of esports gambling. In 2010, the first esports book was created by a company named Pinnacle. The first three games that were on the app, CSGO, DOTA2, and League of Legends, were known as their big three. In 2014, 1 million bets were placed through the app, which led to next year, in 2015, when multiple other organizations had joined alongside sponsorships and even other apps being made. The next point in history is the pandemic boom. According to the UK Gambling Commission, during this time, the gambling operators were seeing about a $5 million US improvement in April of 2020, perhaps one of the most defining factors in esports growth as a whole was the COVID-19 pandemic, with countless people locked inside their houses, the traditional sports halting its operations, gaming rose in popularity, and esports became one of the only sports like mediums available. Next is the current state of Pinnacle. They are now currently hosting sponsored events that allow watchers something to gamble on along with different games and activities. Next, we will look at scandals. The main scandal we'll be looking at occurred in August of 2014 from a CSGO team by iBuyPower. The team was banned for fixing matches. Uh, players were betting against themselves and purposely losing the matches to benefit from the game. They received a lifetime ban for this, but in 2017, ESL reincited their lifetime bans after changing their policies and started a five-year ban for match fixing. For match fixing, the players are still banned from ma majors run directly by Valve, as their rules then take priority. Next, we have the esports gambling policy. Esports gambling typically falls under sports betting legislation. Illegal in the states that prohibit sports gambling, usually fully illegal or regulated in states that do permit sports gambling. While it is fully legal in states like Nevada, New Jersey, Tennessee, and West Virginia, it is regulated in 11 other states, including PA. Regulations typically restrict betting to specific to specific events or places bets can be made. Next we have how to gamble on esports. Originally the big three that we talked about previously were one of the biggest things to bet on for esports, but there are other competitive video games like Call of Duty, Fortnite, and other sports video games that you can bet on now. These sites down below that you see on the screen, Coins Game, FanDuel, MyStake, and Thunderpick, were voted one of the, were the voted the four most popular esports gambling sites according to esports.net. For what you can bet on, when you when we looked at sources, when you looked at the big three game. CSGO, League of Legends, and DOTA2, you can bet on things like the first map, first kill, and first blood. Some of the other things you can bet on included match winner, tournament winner, and correct score of the match. Finally, we have our sources. Thank you, and have a good day.